Chalo. Yes. I'm green. Yeah. I'm just from uh, college education. You know, I'm trying to find a job here and there. I, I'm watching this conversation. Or maybe I'm retired. Or maybe I want a side hustle. I'm working somewhere. And I'm interested in going into this honey business. Since we import 80%, there must be demand if I produce locally. Yeah. For starters, where do, where do you begin? I mean, do you buy a beehives? Do you start shopping for containers? How does one enter and start beekeeping business? Uh, us at Savannah Honey, we handle the entire beekeeping value chain. And at that, we start uh, even now with the sensitization. Like now, my colleague Warrior has just mentioned, there are those many people in the village who don't know even the potential out there. Mm -hmm. So, us will first of all talk to these people mm -hmm. uh, for them to understand, uh, yeah, you know, the potential. If they engage with this business, uh, how, how, how they can, you know, improve their lives. And now, uh, more to that, of course, uh, at Savannah Honey, we also offer uh, free training to our clients. And we also now have the beekeeping equipment. So now the client will uh, be able now to talk to us, or rather we talk to them in relation to their budget. Uh, like now, majorly we'll deal with the Langstroth Hive. Okay. Uh, except some few cases that we shall also deal with, uh, we also deal with uh, the, 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 uh, the KTBH, the Kenya Toba Hive. Mm -hmm. And then now we will uh, now talk to them in relation to their budget. Our hives are normally like 5,500. Okay. Except for this month, the next month that we have an offer at 4,800. And uh, we will uh, deliver the hives to their farms and we will do the installation. Mm -hmm. Why we are interested in doing the installation is so that now we can have the client, uh, or rather we can now handle the, the, the issue of what we call citation. Mm -hmm. This is looking at the direction of the wind, placing in such a way that the bees can be colonized as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. now, before then, the hives are already being treated, or rather uh, waxed. And uh, nowadays we have a new product that is attracting bees very fast. We're calling it Hastic. It's a new innovation. Okay. That we place the hive there and uh, within a short period, uh, of course, they will start getting colonized. Okay. And so uh, we ensure that by the time uh, uh, our, our apiarist leaves the farm, the hives are being, you know, installed in the right way. Okay. And now, as now they start getting colonized, we now uh, have the farmer uh, being visited once every month. Uh, that is those who are our, our clients now. Okay. Uh, our clients, we give them a five-year contract, which includes one uh, 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 technical support, free technical support, to ensure that the hives are colonized, to ensure that the colonies are strong, to ensure that the queens are healthy. And then also, in addition to that, now we give them now a uh, market. Mm -hmm. We ensure that for the next five years, they will have now market for the honey, Mm -hmm. uh, which now we are buying at 500 shillings per kilogram. Mm -hmm. And then we also buy from them the bee pollen, that now we are buying at 6,800 per kilogram. Then we also buy from them the propolis mm -hmm. at 1,900 per kilogram. Mm -hmm. And we also buy from them royal jelly at 38,000 shillings. And we also buy again from them the wax at 700 shillings. And then bee venom at 4,000 uh, shillings gram okay so by so doing you realize that uh, yes we have walked the journey with the client mm -hmm. and uh, now that our appearance is still visiting this client once in a while or rather once every month this client has also picked the skills mm -hmm. and uh, as a result of that um, the project uh, succeeds mm -hmm. but now more to that now that client that will be of a youth those those are youth yes and maybe they are they're lacking capital okay we have a partnership with the government with a, with a youth fund All right. that uh, we are supporting 10,000 youth okay. in the country. Okay. That uh, if somebody wants to do beekeeping and they do not have the money, mm -hmm. then they can be in form of a group or they can be in, uh, come as individuals to the youth, uh, youth enterprise uh, development fund officer in their respective counties. Okay. And uh, they will be taken through the process and within a month, uh, they can be able to get now uh, beehives and beekeeping equipment worth 100,000. Okay. Then they can pay within a year. Okay. And then us now, of course, will be now be able now to provide the market now for the next five years. All right. Yep. And uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I just wanted to add also something uh, uh, which is also very, very important is about the bee forage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after they have been trained, given equipment, they need also to look into how are the bees going to get their food fast. Mm -hmm. 
because nectar pollen is their food. Mm -hmm. For us, we are just uh, thieves. We are stealing. Mm -hmm. That is their food. Mm -hmm. Now, for, for them to ensure that they have the, the, the food for bees so that uh, they maintain the bees within the, the hives, they need to ensure that they have the bee plants. Mm -hmm. The bee plants that are producing nectar and pollen. And usually, we also encourage them to produce the crops that they can as well use at the household level, mm -hmm. like the vegetables, the fruits, mm -hmm. which they, whereby they, they, they can also sell. So as they practice the beekeeping, they can also get some income from the fruits, from the vegetables, and the bees will be doing the pollination, whereby the productivity of those crops will be higher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that is also something that they need to know and understand when they want to start where are they going to to get the bee food mm -hmm. because you see like for example there are those people who are living or staying around like the natural forests but they are not aware that there is that opportunity for them even to put one or two hives there mm -hmm. so even when they are working closely to like the the forest service services mm -hmm. or the wwf mm -hmm. they can also enrich the, maybe the productivity of the forest okay. around there. So those are some of the things that uh, they, con they can also consider when they are, they are starting the, the enterprise. Okay. Yes. So uh, I'm glad you've touched on the issue of if you're not able to do it alone, right. then come together and uh, amalgamate. Mm -hmm. 